everyone, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to design a necklace using the newest Softflex Company Design Kit, Grateful Heart? I am just adding in these glass crystals and they are from a bead shop, Artistic Beads and Studio in Placerville, California. And I will leave links down below in the description for all the products I am using in this video. I have these little um, about eight or nine millimeter links and they're just kind of soldered together. Um, so it's going to be kind of a design element there. You'll just need some shim chains and jump rings and a clasp of your choice. Before we start creating, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps my little channel grow. And also down below in the description, I will leave a link for the tutorials for this design kit, as well as all other necklace inspiration. Let's start creating. So I kind of started designing my pattern here. Um, and these were beads from the kit and the exclusive Jesse James bead mix. And then these little uh, seven millimeter check class I use them in a lot of my projects. They're super sparkly. And these come in about 15 different colors on softflexcompany.com. So if you wanted to change it up to maybe a purple um, or a different shade of pink, those are available on the website. So to start, we're just going to create our little dangles. And I'm just going to string them on the pattern. I love these. So we're just going to add on all the beads to our head pin. So I have all my beads on my head pin. We're just going to make a simple loop. I will be using my one-step looper. You can also use a round nose plier or make a wrapped loop. So we're going to slide them into our cool and give it a little squeeze. And this is going to give us a perfect loop. And I am using the 1.5 millimeter. They do come in two larger sizes. Once we have all our loops, we're just going to take our round nose pliers and make sure that our loops are secure. We won't want to lose any of our little dangles. And for this necklace, I kind of wanted to make like a little waterfall or a cascading necklace. Here all of our little links, we're going to bring in our solder rings. And this is just part of a chain that I cut apart. Um, you can also use any closed jump rings or you can make your own jump rings using soft leg scrap wire. So we're going to bring in some six millimeter jump rings. And when we open jump rings, you just want to twist side to side. We're going to slide on one of our little dangles and then onto our little component here. And we're going to do that for the remaining little components. Comment down below what you thought of this amazing kit. I think all Softflex kits are amazing and they're all unique in their own ways. All our little dangles connected with our six millimeter jump ring to the larger lake. Now we're going to start creating a necklace. And this is just basic bead stringing. We are using our Softflex wire in medium. For the kit, it does come in pink tunneling, but I just wanted to add some silver um, just to make these little hearts kind of stand out in my design. So a couple of design options you have here is you can cut 18 to 20 inches of your soft flex wire for your necklace or spool. It also acts as a bead stopper. Um, and then you can always add your clasp at the end. So we are just gonna slide on our little turquoise bead, one of our heart beads, a turquoise bead, And then we're going to slide on one of our little, so the smallest little dangle, and that is just going to go right over the little two bead. We're going to add on another heart, another turquoise bead. So with the little hearts, it's going to kind of hopefully hold it in place, um, but this will just give it a little bit of movement in your necklace. And slide on our another dangle. 
So you'll have your spacing between the heart and the turquoise bead. And when you're adding on the hearts, you want to make sure that they're all going the same way. So we have our necklace and then our little hearts and our components can move freely or they can all kind of cluster and do like a little waterfall. Sometimes it's just fun to create jewelry that has movement to it. So now we're going to be using the other beads um, and then some of the check glass to just add that sparkle. I'm going to start with one of these little blue beads. Then one of these check glass. These are really neat. They're two-toned. And then another blue bead. Whatever I'm adding on this side, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, but also a design option is you can make it completely asymmetrical. So I'm adding in one of these pink beads. Then one of these matte crackle um, with the bead cap. Just to incorporate our silver. And then a blue bead. So this will be my pattern, and then I will just go ahead and repeat it. And I'll add in one of these little check glass. So we'll keep adding on our beads until we reach the desired length, and then we will add our clasp. So we have the necklace. We're just going to bring in our two by twos one side of our clasp. To attach the clasp, I always like to add on a jump ring or two, just if I need to make any adjustments or I want to switch out my clasp in the future. Instead of having to restring or redo your whole project, you can just open and close your jump ring and make your adjustments. So we're going to slide on one two by two and one jump ring. We're just going to pass back through our two by two. We want to give it a little bit of wiggle room. If it's too close, it can cause tension. We're going to give it a smash, and then we're just going to rotate. And this is going to give it a more professional finish. We have a little bit of a tail, so we're just going to trim that. Now we have a lot of wire on this side. But we're just going to slide all our beads down. And then we can just add the rest of the beads on the other side of Softflex. Before we do that, we're just going to attach a lobster claw. So we're going to grab one more jump ring. We're just going to twist, attach our lobster claw to our other jump ring. And give it a close. And then make sure the, all the jump rings are closed. When you close a jump ring, you'll hear like a little click, and that's when you know it's secure. So we added on all the beads to our necklace, and I do have a lot of soft flex left over. So I'm just going to trim some of that off. Um, and always save your soft flex wire. You never know when you'll need it for another project. And this is a great length for like an earring or even a bracelet. So we have our soft flex. We're just going to slide on a two by two and one six millimeter jump ring, and then just pass it back through. We want to make sure that our loops are fairly the same size. We're just going to give it a smash and then rotate. Trim off any extra soft flex wire you have. Jump ring, we're just going to do a slight twist and then attach an extra jump ring. And for the jump ring, you can add like a little dangle or maybe a made with love charm on the back. Have our beautiful necklace using the Softlex Company Design Kit, Grateful Heart. And we have our turquoise beads and then our little heart dangle or cascading pendant. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps my little channel grow. And check out down below in the description for the items used in this video, as well as the unboxing for this wonderful kit and other tutorial inspiration. Have an awesome day.